Hey everybody, welcome staycation sleepover guests. Hi, I'm Elizabeth Malinowski. I am a senior executive sales leader with Norwex. I am in Virginia and these are my kiddos, Harper and Maisie. Some of you might already know them. Um, you guys, welcome to our house for our portion of tonight's sleepover event. So we're super excited to have you guys over. We are gonna do some science experiments. If you know us, the Malinowski family, you may have already been to my house for a science party. Um, I like to do science experiments at parties. Um, so this is definitely, if you know me, you're like, that tracks, that tracks. I'm also doubly excited to have you guys here at my house tonight because Guys, it's my real actual birthday today. So having several thousand people over is quite quite exciting for me. So pressure's on, I am sweating a little bit. Um, tonight, we're gonna do two science experiments with you guys, okay? The first one's called elephant toothpaste, okay? So elephant toothpaste is an experiment where we are going to add a catalyst to some hydrogen peroxide. Um, so you guys, here's a little fun fact about hydrogen peroxide, okay? guys know what our regular old H2O molecule looks like? It's kind of called the Mickey Mouse molecule. It's two H's and one O. If you think about it as a Mickey Mouse molecule, it goes this way, right? It kind of has ears, okay? So it's H2 and then an O, two H's and an O. Okay, but hydrogen peroxide is one hydrogen per each oxygen atom, right? So hydrogen peroxide. So what happens with hydrogen peroxide is it does eventually go bad. I'm really, really hoping that this one hasn't. Um, and we're going to find out together. Um, so hydrogen peroxide, it comes in a dark colored bottle because it does slowly break down. The oxygens break away from the hydrogen and it turns back into water. Water is just this really strong, hardy molecule that likes to stick together. And the, those other oxygens do tend to want to leave. So if you leave it open or if it was in a clear bottle, it would eventually come back to it and it would just be water. Okay, because those other oxygens are gonna escape in the form of gas. So what we're gonna do today is speed up that reaction with a catalyst. And for the purpose of this experiment, our catalyst is gonna be dry yeast. So guys, here we go. All right, Maisie, do you wanna mix? So what I have is a little dry yeast packet. Okay guys, this, this experiment did have like a materials list. I am sort of following it. If you know me, again, as a real person, um, you might know that recipes aren't really my jam. But what I'm starting out with here is I've got approximately two and a half, maybe tablespoons of, is that right? Hold on, let me think about this. I need more warm water than this. Is that true? <laughs> no, no, this is good. I think this is good. I've got about two and a half tablespoons of warm water and I've got a packet of dry yeast, which ends up being like two and a half teaspoons. So what the recipe called for was a little more exact than that. It was one tablespoon per three. I figure we're gonna be fine. So I may or may not need scissors to get this open. Let's find out together here. Okay, Maisie, I'm gonna give you the job of mixing the yeast in the water. Can you dump it in and then mix it around with a fork? You guys, that job is gonna take about 30 seconds. In the meantime, this calls for almost half a cup of hydrogen peroxide here. And I'm gonna have you, Harper, dump this into the bottle for me, okay? I'm going to pour it into here, and we're going to go with what we've got. Okay, and we're going to hope that I don't, oh, got to commit. All right, sorry, Harper, I needed to commit to that. Okay, now you guys, in order to capture all the bubbles, what we're going to do is we're going to add a good little bit of dish soap here. You guys, this is the new Norwex dish soap. It smells like lime. Do you guys want to smell it? It is so, oh my gosh, you guys, it smells it smells so amazing. Smell it. <laughs> I knew you were going to make that face. Smell it. It really smells limey. Can you put like a drop of dish soap in here? Like a generous drop. It's nice and full. I literally just opened it. Okay. Today though. All right. And guys, you want, what it calls for is a generous squirt. So I'd say that was a stingy squirt. We're going to put a little more in and we're going to see what happens. Okay. All right, then you want to kind of swirl this around because the, the soap is how we're going to catch the bubbles and turn it into foam. You think that's good? Okay, that's awesome, Maisie. Now, one thing we want to do before we add our yeast is add some color. So, Maisie, Harper, do you each want to pick a color? You can pick blue? Do you want to put a couple drops in? Yes. All right, 
put a couple drops. See if you can like drip it down the side. That's how we're gonna get like stripes like toothpaste. Just squeeze. One more time maybe. Perfect. Okay, Maisie, can you squeeze some green down that side? Be careful of your jams. Guys, this is really intense. Okay, perfect, sis. Thank you. All right, so we've got our blue, we've got our green, and we've got our stuff in here. Let me double check my ingredients list. Oh my gosh. Okay, we've got our warm water with our dish soap, we've got our peroxide, we've got our yeast, we've got it in an empty plastic bottle, we've got our safety, oh, safety glasses on. You guys, you always want to use safety glasses when you're working with hydrogen peroxide. It's a little note in the recipe. Now, I'll admit that I think this is sort of hilarious because, you guys, of course, hydrogen peroxide is so much more gentle than most of our household cleaners, and it's not like, you know, people are at home telling their kids to put their goggles on, um, but it does say, like, hydrogen peroxide is an eye irritant, and Again, like I just think that thinking about that from a science point of view is really something. All right, guys, now we're gonna dump, we're gonna dump our yeast mixture in and we're gonna see if this yeast acts as it's meant to as a catalyst to break apart our, oh, here we go, here we go. It's breaking apart, speeding up the reaction to break apart the hydrogen um, peroxide. This is this fun thing that happens when all of our phones ring at the same time. And let's see. Okay. All right, you guys, I do have a whole thing of foam here. I wonder, maybe I'm gonna add a little bit more. Oh my gosh, stop with the sound. This is the worst. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna try adding a little bit more of this and see what happens. You guys see, it's just pure foam. All right, go, go, go. No, more water won't help. Okay, are we gonna make it? Because I'm not gonna lie, I know this is like a little anticlimactic, but I'm glad it's not like all over my ceiling, which was kind of a warning that came with this. All right, we're gonna let it go. So there we see, guys, what all these bubbles are is it's all of those extra oxygens releasing from that hydrogen peroxide. Okay, so again, you've got hydrogen peroxide went in and what's coming out is this is gonna separate down into H2O and all of this foam is all of those O2 molecules separating from that. So it's really warm. Oh my gosh, you guys feel how warm it is. That reaction is releasing a lot of heat there. That's really cool. All right, I kind of wish we would have mixed our color in. Yeah, you can squirt it out. You guys want to brush your teeth with it? Oh, well, that's the water part. <laughs> All right. Okay, you guys, that's actually pretty fun. Okay. I will put the res <laughs> I will put the recipe on here so that you guys can try this one at home too. Um, oh my gosh, guys, it smells so limey and delicious like that noodle soap. Okay, now I'm gonna have you guys come with me to the kitchen here, and um, we're gonna do one more really simple science experiment together. So come on, Harper and Newsy. Okay, so, all right, you guys, we're going to do one more science experiment together. This one is the s'more science, okay? So, I'm going to make a couple of s'mores here. Are you guys familiar? My She Got Wet with what a sugar molecule looks like. This is a sucrose molecule, otherwise known as sugar, right? Guys, sugar molecule is a C12, that's carbon, hydrogen 22, O11, okay? That's the chemical makeup of a sucrose or sugar molecule, right? So if you notice, if we take away the carbons, it's actually the same formula for an H2O. There's two hydrogens per each oxygen, right? So that's like a sugar, or like a um, 
<laughs> water molecule is what I mean. Okay, so guys, when you think about carbon, what does it look like in your mind? Do you guys know when you think, I since we've not prepped for this, you guys, what does carbon look like in your mind? What do you think of? Uh, my mind immediately goes to charcoal. For charcoal, exactly, that's exactly right. That's exactly right. So you guys, we're gonna show in this, in this experiment, how we can add heat as a catalyst to release the H2O or the water from a marshmallow and leave behind just the carbon, which is that golden, blackened, delicious, crunchy bit in a s'more. Okay, so I've got my marshmallows. I've got my graham crackers here, all right? We're gonna come over to the oven. I've got my broiler on. I think we probably better get our chocolate ready, right? This is the best part of all. Okay, Harper, do you want chocolate on yours? The chocolate will go on in the end, okay? All right, so let me get our other halves ready to go so that when we come out, we're ready. All right, here, you carry this. Thank you, my love. And you guys come over to the oven with me. Okay, guys, the oven rack is really hot. So I'm gonna have Harper and Maisie step back a little bit. Okay, guys, now what I want you to notice is as soon as you start to see the top become really golden, that's when you're gonna see, that at the same time you're gonna see the steam coming out of the oven, and that's that H2O or water molecule leaving in the form, the H2O bonding and forming H, well, forming water to leave in the form of steam. And you're gonna see it immediately, as soon as you start to see the steam, you'll also see our marshmallow begin to brown because that is gonna be the carbon that you'll be able to see. So watch really careful. Maisie Harper, tell us when you start to see it, okay? I wonder if I should bring them closer. I don't see it yet. They still look white to me. I'm seeing them like all puffing. Oh, they are, they are puffing. I see some puffing. Oh, we're getting really close now. Oh, we're getting really close. Oh, I'm starting to see it go brown now. As soon as you start to see it go brown, be ready to see that steam. Can you see the steam? Can you see the steam? Wow, look at that steam come out. So all of that H2O coming out as steam leaves behind just that charcoal looking bit of carbon. Oh, you guys tell me when you think they're done. Think we should flip them? Yes. Oh, they actually look really perfect and smushy. Do you wanna just give me the tops? All right, guys, check it out. Smush one, smush the other. Plates are hot. Plates are hot. All right, two hot. Here you go. One for you. And one for you, my love. Is science delicious? Yes. yes. That was our science experiments with the Malinowskis, you guys. Oh, the secret word. Oh my gosh, the secret question for this <laughs> for this demo is. What scent is the new dish liquid? And you guys, can I do one shameless plug? Because I have a really new favorite. Stay right there, stay right there. You guys, to go with the new dish liquid is the new dish brush. And I just have to tell you about it because I'm so excited about it, okay? I actually really hate sponges. So I'm super excited about the new dish brush. Holds that new lime like dish soap right in the handle. And the head, when it eventually wears out and gets goopy and gross, you can just buy just a replacement head. How sustainable is that? And then you still have the handle. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited about this. Okay, you guys, what scent is the new is the new dish soap? Did I say what it was? Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> like five times. That's okay. Okay, that's great. All right, guys, have a good night. Happy sleepover.